I know there's been a lot of interest in the current operation in Sinjar uh, being carried out by Iraqi Kurdish forces. This is another example of the pressure being applied to ISIL across multiple fronts. The Peshmerga forces, with the support of the coalition air campaign and coalition advisors, are attempting to sever uh, ISIL's primary line of communication between Raqqa and Mosul. The targeting of Highway 47 over Sinjar Mountain and the ground operation by the Peshmerga will degrade the ability of ISIL terrorists to funnel fighters and equipment into Iraq and help cut off an important means of funding their terrorist activities. We're going to take advantage of, of every opportunity we can uh, to deliver a blow to ISIL. This was an opportunity the Iraqi Kurdish forces saw right now and working with the coalition uh, agreed that this was a good time to move on Sinjar Mountain and to try and cut off this uh, particular supply line. And uh, right now we're assessing how that fight's going, but this uh, the timing here, we saw an opportunity, the Iraqi Kurdish forces saw an opportunity, and we're taking advantage of that as we uh, move forward. Uh, courtesy of the Department of Justice, the, they put this out just a moment ago, uh, the department announcing that they have arrested and charged an Ohio man with one count of solicitation of a crime of violence, specifically um, the allegations here that uh, he was soliciting the murder of U.S. service members here in the homeland on behalf of ISIL. Uh, I'll let the Department of Justice speak to the details of this case, but do want to reiterate that we take seriously any threats against our service members, and we will use every tool at our disposal, partnering with other agencies to protect our men and women in uniform, and we sincerely thank the Department of Justice for its efforts in this case.